Hello there my fellow stars, it's Vintrix here with another Aurora Kingdom video and we're back again with this game where we left off when we are helping the Lumberjack, I don't remember when it was, I think it was like last week during uh, Friday. So yeah, this series can be Fridays and Tuesdays, so I hope that you guys will enjoy this series. I'm very pumped today, I don't know why, I'm just in a really joyful mood, probably because I'm actually doing a lot more recordings than I usually do. And I just brought another Windcraft episode, which you'll be seeing before this. So I really hope that you guys are enjoying Windcraft as it goes. And hopefully I get you guys into this series too. Hopefully. Come on, guys. You gotta show some board. Just smash that like button, please. It just shows me how much you guys like the series. And it just shows me I gotta keep going. Because it literally inspires me when I see all those likes. Because it's like... You guys love the series, and you guys really, really love it, and then it makes me say I have to bring up more. For the series, I'm kind of just keep going with it, even if it doesn't get much likes, because I'm giving you guys a little tryout of it, like a few episodes, and if you guys like it, I'll keep going with it. I'm really hoping that you guys will enjoy this, and tell me if you do enjoy if you guys haven't hit the like button, because I've been enjoying a lot of MMORPGs, and I know a lot of MMORPGs aren't your guys' slice of flavor sometimes because you're more here for the Minecraft probably and I've been just throwing these other games at you recently I'm very sorry about that but it's just I want more games to this channel and that crazy craft and Hexit don't seem to be doing the thing so I might be replacing them for in our series also like a series that's more enjoyable to Minecraft so just help me figure out what type of series that is because Windcraft was already decided once I put up the first episode that it was amazing Thank you for that support. I'm going to be bringing out a lot of those. I don't even know if like many of you watch the mod showcases either. I might jump into those like soon to be talking about it sooner or later. I don't know. But it's literally dependent on you guys and your support. If you guys want me to keep going with some certain series. And it will be very helpful if you guys let me know about those certain series you want me to keep by keep hitting that like button showing some support on it <clears throat> because it just tells me you guys want a lot more of it and I should just keep continuing that's what it is to me so we are slaying this big guy now because we actually need something from him for the translated information so here we are so I took him down he took a while to take out and we can actually pull on these new gloves so that's pretty cool wait am I not oh that looks just like the gloves I just Oh yeah, and you get like D reward from this game too. And there's like here's Mega Horns, which I believe you could kind of shout with, because I know every game has like a thing where you could shout to everyone. So that everybody in the whole entire server hears ya. So those are pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep that around. But I really hope you guys are enjoying this series and the class I've chosen because I really love this class. She's pretty epic looking. I can't wait to see what the improved weapons look like for her too, because there is more improved weapons you could get and they look different. So I'm really hoping that I get to see what the next one looks like. Hopefully it'll be as epic as this one is. You and I, um, that reading was awful. Okay, fix it up me. You hand everything you found, into, including the relic from to Flower. You also give her the secret inf translation information. Well, at least you found the most of the fragment. Let me see, that part should go here and one must be placed here. Ah, it's together like a puzzle. I could finally decipher the message inscribed into the statue. Flower cl claps gleefully. Ooh, she's really happy about that. Hey, look, it's in a different language on there. That's pretty funny. It's like telling me about mounts. I already know about mounts, so don't really need that. Your heart races anxiously as you ask Flower about the message on the stone. Do you really want to know? The f Flower looks at you, eyes welling with anxiety and fear. Well, it means that a hero who will save the world will be born here, but it also says a hero could become a demon that could possibly destroy the fabric of our universe. Not long ago, a teenage boy named Brian came looking for Elena, just like you. He also had a spirit with him. He firmly believed that the curse was by an evil spell. He wanted to ask Elena for help, but the next day... Brian's personality completely changed. He chattered everything in Elena's place, snapped her staff in two. I'm telling you this because you must stay vigilant. It's clear that Beebs doesn't see you as a dangerous person. Worrying that you might end up like Brian, you t 
temptation to tell I don't know how to say that asked what happened to him next Bren fled to the forest the village garrison was traveling this right now maybe the garrison member Willie will have some clues you nod planning to ask Willie directly and when you leave Beebs grabs your sleeve with its beak and gently pulls you back Hmm, Vitrix, it looks like you'll have to take Beebs with you. Perhaps he'll serve as your mount for now. And Lena won't mind if you if you take him for a trip, I'm sure. Alright, I'll accept that. Now I have to talk to this um this garrison member, Willie, to see if he knows anything about what happened to like Brian or anything about Brian's whereabouts, which I believe he's over here. Just drop right next to him. So, good lord, Ventrix, you scared me to death. What are you doing here? Why are you looking for- Why, are you looking for Brian too? Do you know him? Alright, so I gotta put up some skills or else this will be in my way for the rest of the game, so. Let me just put this in SPD. So I have a little bit more of that. And there we go. Do you know him? You shake your head fiercely. I have an urgent issue and I must speak to him to clear things up. You really, you really want to know where he is? He went crazy one day, as the day went along, as he's attacking residents. A couple of beans sprout short, a couple of beans short of a uh, chili. You know what I mean. You want to investigate? You have to talk to Larry, traveling merchant. He's the person Brian most recently attacked. Oof. But before meeting him, could you help me divide some? Drive some sunbirds out of here. They keep stealing our fruit. Alright, I'll do that. No problem, sir. I shall take out those darn sunburn. B birds. Not sunburns, but I guess they are painful like one, probably. Wait, where do I find them? Are they up here? I actually don't know which way they are. Did I go the. No, I went the complete wrong way. Okay, me. They're over here. Oh, I couldn't glide up there. It makes me so sad. There they are. So I'm gonna do my jump thing, and I'm gonna land right next to these guys. Here's a little sunbird. Let's destroy him. He may be cute, but he is not innocent. He's stealing these poor men's fruits. Must destroy. Out of here. You two, hey, you ain't going nowhere. Boom. Let's just destroy him as fast as I can. Yeah, got him. And then there's this man right here. We have to take seven of them out. Dang, you guys have a lot of these guys on your hands. But these guys shouldn't be too hard to defeat. Just like that. We got three out of seven. So then now we only need like a few more. We're just about half of them. Alright. Let's just take you out uh, here. Alright. So that's four out of seven. And then we gotta destroy you too. So get out of here, you darn sun bird. Almost called him a sunburn again. Dang it, these birds, man. Okay, so I only need two more of these guys. And then we're finally done with these darn creatures. Destroy you. Aya. Ta. Alright, so I need to drink a potion really badly because my health isn't looking that great. I see these potions are like regen, just like how Windcraft does it, actually. That's pretty fun. That's like instant health, like type of potions like other games normally have. Nope. This one just regens you. Alright. Finally, I got all those wind... Uh, not wind birds. Um, sunbird. Sun... Sunbirds. I don't know what I'm trying to say, because I'm very confused right now. Hiya. May as well fall in the water and go swimming, I guess. He's oi. Okay, I guess. He wanted me to talk straight to little Larry over here. Which I believe he's over here. If I'm wrong. Um, I think he's over here. Yeah, he is. You can see his little um uh never mind. That's not him. Uh where is he? Where is this guy? Um, he's gotta be somewhere around here. Like, I can't be that lost. Well, if I'm gonna be in the trees, of course I'm gonna get lost. 
Where is this man? Larry? Larry? There you are. Found ya. Here's the poor lad who got sacked. Just a top just a couple of days ago my field was torn by by bees. So I'm just, just go two. That's all I want. So here we go. Brian, Brian, oh yeah, the cr that crazy prunk who broke my wagon, right? He smacked me with his hand. Larry whines. Oof. <laughs> what do you know? Well, what can I do? I need to be co co compensated for this. Larry roars, frustrated. I'm sorry, I know it's not your fault. I just need to calm down, he sighs again. You see the good scattered about and wonder if you should help him with the investigation. You still want to assist me? Could you just can you help me just bring those shattered crates around here, please? All right. So he wants me to grab all these crates and to bring them back to him. Sorry, sir, didn't mean to step in your way. Just gonna go ahead, grab about six of these for him. Cause that's all I need me to do. Yeah, there's one, and then there's another one. I picked it up from all the way over here somehow. That's magical. And uh, there's four and five. Then one more, and we shall have it all done. Just like that, we can talk to him again. Just a couple of days. Oh, God, it's this is part again. The unlucky merchant. He helps shove the scattered crates back into Larry's side. Glad you're here to help. I couldn't move all this on my own. I'm Larry, by the way. I am a traveling merchant. He sticks out his hand. You shake it gamely, then introduce yourself to him. Sweet. Ventrix, I'm afraid I need to ask you another favor. Once again, this thing's getting in my way, so I may as well put this right here. Ooh, I just learned a new skill. Sweet. That's gonna be fun. So he needs to ask me another favor. Larry rummages through this chatter goods and fishes out a package. I'd like you to send this package to my best friend, uh, Bentley, on my behalf. It's something he's asked me to buy f for a se Okay. Okay, I'd like you to ask him. I'd like you to send this package to my friend Bentley on my behalf. It's just some dry food. He asked me to buy him several days ago. Although the other items are destroyed, with prevent him from going hungry at least. There's something in it for you too. His friend, this friend of mine, has been hunting here for ages, so he knows the forest like the back of his hand. Perhaps he can help you find Brian. All right, perfect. Ooh. He's gonna let me pick a pair of gloves. Sweet. All right, I believe Bentley isn't too far from here. I believe he's like right about um here. Yeah, he's over here. Here he is. You hand the package to Bentley and explain why you have come. He winces as he listens to you. You rise quickly that he's been badly injured. Beebs, why is Elena's ostrich with you? But Bentley clutches his bleeding wound, staring beads, beady eyes. You explain that Beebs is following you. Then, incur about Beebs, about Brian Bentley's injury. It's Brian. I don't know what he's up to. I saw him dragging a child deep down into the forest. I approached him. I never thought he would attack me so viciously. Bentley grinds his teeth, clearly in immense pain. Beebs rests his feathers. His feathers heads on your feathers on your shoulder, as though he is too is concerned. All right, so now I get to choose one of these. I'm gonna go with Earth and Gauntlets, cause why not? So I'm just gonna go ahead and equip those, cause that's new compared to what I'm wearing. And I could sell these things. This is a pretty deep wound. I'm probably gonna have to go do something about it, eh? Bentley winces. You inspect the festering wound with concern, then ask Bentley if he can. If you could do anything to help them. A bunch of grass sprouts reside in the forest. The slime they produce can stop the bleeding and help the help the wound heal. Please collect some slime and fluid from the sprouts. Be full, Ventrix. Bentley swallows hard, hiding his pain badly, and chews you and beads away. Alright. So it looks like I'm gonna get boots after this one, so I believe yeah, he wants me to go after these guys up here. So let me just take care of some of these guys. I can click on them. And just like that, 
we have a new skill, so I'm gonna drag that right into the floor slot, and we're gonna test it. Ooh, that's a bit of lag, but I'm pretty sure it will lag if I do it again. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a cool attack. I'm not gonna lie, I love it. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this guy now because he's just auto attacking me. Probably because my really huge attack radius, I got him too. Because that's something about a huge attack radius characters is that you can hit another enemy that's right next to you, and then they'll start attacking you also. So that's just gonna happen right now. Destroy this guy as he's attacking me once again. All right, so we got all four of those guys pretty easily. That was a really quick one, and then the other ones I need are right here. Even though I show after these guys first, because it would have made more sense. I like how both these like have my character jump and just get really huge attacks. This character is awesome. Not gonna lie, I really love this character. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink one of those because my health is pretty low. These guys are actually doing a lot of damage to me than I expected, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of them while I'm here. Okay, two more to go. And then we'll have them all, and we can return to him and get this wounds all taken care of, the poor guy. Oof. Okay, so it's just this guy. I'm just gonna do these ones since it's like. Whoops. Alright, I'm just gonna take care of this one then we're I gotta talk to Bentley. There we go. So now you can go talk to him. You hurried a hand and collected the liquid to collect with the the Bentley. Bentley mixes the two liquids and then applies it to the victor situation. An endless bleeding from the wound begins to slow. The pain looks like it fades from Bentley's face. Alright, so now we got him taking care of a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the earth and stuff. Ventrix, thank you. I feel much better. Bentley nods weakly. You know you have the light orb falling you, right? Or am I hallucinating? You feel utterly depressed after hearing that from Bentley. You both gaze at the spirit wearingly. Beebs cocks his head, watching the orb carefully. You explained to Bentley that you need to get rid of it yourself, yourself of the spirit. However, you're still determined to find Bryn and talk to with him. How will that fool help? The only good friend who might be able to help actually lent a hand. Bentley opens hit the bag hanging around his waist from inside the bag. He removes an amulet. I'm going to lend you this amulet. It's a token of friendship between Elena and I. Go to Elena's house with this and I'll know she'll come up with a way to help you. Alright, so cool, we're going to be getting a new sword, so I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. Since we got a lot of time, actually. We got lots of time. We're only at 18 minutes, so. These quests are going by pretty fast, so Elena's just right here. She's not even that far away from him, so we're pretty good on this. Stop, you take one step forward and you'll be sorry. Fire flashes through Elena's eyes as she prepares to te cast magic. For demeanor changes and softens when she sees the spirit next to you and her beloved Beebs. You quickly explain that you need her help, handing her the amulet from ben Bentley. You you have a spirit. That boy Brent had one too. And I recalls coldly. At first I wanted to help him, but his spirit transformed into a sinister black panther. And he, he and the panther ran into the house and attacked me, then broke my staff in two. Poor guy. Poor lady. Alright, so I'm going to equip the sword because it looks pretty epic and I kind of really want it. And I'm also going to... Wait, did I already change my boots? Oh no, I haven't changed my boots yet, so... Okay. This doesn't really change my gear with these other ones. These are just like... Depending on protection. But the actual gear I'm going to be getting soon, so... Beeps quietly falls behind you. Only stares at you suspiciously before her gaze shifts to Bentley's broken token. It's a real surprise. Beebs, who usually is quite anxious around strangers, seems to have a certain fondness of you. You must not be very dangerous. Elena arch arches her eyebrow, mate, analyzing you. Sensing that she's softening towards you, you ask Elena if she could help you remove the spirit following you. Any friend of Bentley's is a friend of mine. However, you're going to have to help me fix my staff before I can cast such a spell. The staff lost all of its energy and 
Brian attacked me. I need you to help. You must help me power it up again. And then removes three brightly colored gems from the bag. This is the water gem, tree gem, magic gem. You should go to the wharf logging site and ruins. Uh, wharf. I don't know how to say that. With the corresponding gems. I'll use the teleportation magic to send you back to the post Scandula. Sc Scandia. When you're ready. With Beeb's help. You shouldn't have too much trouble. After taking the assignment, Elena teleports you to the fishing port. Okay. So now she's going to teleport us. And we're going to go to the port. So here we go. Port Scandia. Here I come. And then I could just click on like the things right here. So if you click on these, you'll auto move to where they are. And look at that sword. That's so cool looking. I love it. Yeah, I admit, that's amazing. Oh look, the water just quit suddenly. I no, not water, I mean music. I can't speak right now, my brain. It's going all the wrong ways. There's one. And now I believe the green one goes to the logging site. So here we go. We're just gonna auto move there real quickly. But look at this sword. It still has like the axe type of thing on it. So I think it's like a giant sword with an axe type of handle. That's so cool looking. I'm sorry. I'm fangirling over it because it's just such a cool looking sword. I've never seen a sword design like this at all until I started playing this game. Like, this is the only game with a sword design I've seen, at least. So we're going all the way back here, apparently. So it's quite the long walk, but it's pretty worth it once we get all these, so that she'll help us. Alright, and then one more to go, which is the magic, yeah, the magic gem, which I believe is back over here somewhere. So if I'm not wrong, I think I may be heading towards Flower's Destination. Yeah, we're heading towards Flower's Destination. So it's right next to flower, apparently. Interesting. There we go. So now we're gonna use that one. And now we're finally gonna report back to Elena after all that progress has been done. And then her staff should be pretty well and ready. So let me just fly. Alright, now uh, let's talk to her. You return to Elena and give her the three gems, each practically vibrating with energy. After, after Elena embeds the three gems in her staff, they begin to retaliate dazing rays from vibrant light. Dazzling rays from, I don't know why I said that. Ah, oh, they've regained their power. Next, I'll need you cast an exorcism spell on you. If it goes as planned, it'll remove the spirit that follows you. However, if it fails, the spirit will take you over. You have no choice but to use magic. Uh, no, you, do you understand? Yes, I do. Oh, we got some good stuff here. So I can finally learn one of these, which I think I should probably learn. Hmm. Holy Sword Studies. Let's do that. Because that one seems pretty promising right there. And then with this one, we could go ahead and put our skill up again into this, make that level 3, and get that done with. Ventrix, are you ready? I have some special magic that I could try with that spirit. As for the results, well, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, I'll accept that. Let me talk to her again. Now, I'll raise her hand to the wand and recites the incantation you have never heard before. A warm mist fills the air. Elena's magic makes you feel as though you're floating, which makes sense because you're, because when your eyes are open, you're hovering in midair. You try to relax as the wind whips around you, but you can't help but feel let a small shriek of surprise. Ventrix, are you okay? It might feel a little uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be worse than a light fever. A little grogginess shouldn't be a problem for you, right? If you want to. You want to answer, but can't say a word. To try to resist the pressure of the whirling air, 
It seems to grow hotter and hotter with every passing second. The air suddenly vile as though it's trying to swallow you whole, and electric pain shoots through your body. Ventrix? Leia cries out as she sees the pain in your face, and immediately stops the reciting of the incantation. The light of the spell extinguishes and you collapse to the ground pain. Yay, look what it is. The spirit that haunted you ominously changes its form to a creature you've never seen before. Ooh. A mysterious creature appears before you, stunned. You can't you can only glance at Elena who who in turns is also looking at you with a face of complete shock. I I never s well, this is unexpected. Elena can hardly take her eyes off the mysterious creature beside you. While you and the laser are busy staring awkwardly and sound of a quickly approaching footsteps breaks the silence. Ventrix, I finally found you Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Willie is looking at the creature next to you and suddenly screams like a baby. <laughs> you little baby. I, uh, um, were, were you looking for Brian? I, I am just here to tell you that the garrison captain, Kane, had found him. Elena, has Ventrix been bounded by a curse as well? I'm not sure yet if this is a curse or, well, the creature has not hurt us or anything, so maybe. Really, and Elena's conversation makes you feel dizzy, and you can hardly focus on their words. Trying to guide the subject away from the creature, you ask Willie where you can find Kane. The garrison captain is currently in the northwestern corner of the forest. Reports saying that Brian has, spot has been spotted hiding in the nearby cave. So, so I guess I'm done here. I uh, gotta go then. Ventrix, I think you should go seek out Kane in a hurry. Here, let this ostrich take you there. Maybe he can figure, we can figure out how, from Bryn of what kind of creature that thing is. You nod to turn around and go, yet the strange creature following your every move. Please take me with you. You'll need my help. You saw helplessly along the strange creature to help you around. You have to focus on the finding Bry Brian. And then you can figure out what the strange possession situation. This icon shows your current eidolon. So it's just gonna to tell me, which I don't really need, so. Yeah, please, I don't need that. When you have an, an eidolon, uh, eidolon, yeah, you can control it to fight for you. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So now I'm gonna accept that. I'm gonna grab that chest plate. Actually, wait, I haven't even got to get it yet, because, oh yeah. So. That's where I'm going to wrap up this video. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to show all the support if you guys want me to keep going with these episodes. I haven't been enjoying my seri the series myself because I've been playing this game a lot lately. I've enjoyed playing it. It's a really fun game to play if you jump into it, if you're into MMORPGs. And you like anime, so it's perfect with those two. Since I really love anime and I love MMORPGs. So yeah, this is a really fitting MMO for me. And that's all wrap up this video. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button like I said earlier. Support the series. And also, if you guys are new and you love what you see on this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can keep up with my latest contents and my live streams also. And be sure to stick around for all that stuff because I'm going to be uploading content on the daily and live streaming sometimes during one of these days. So, never know where we're going to live stream. Probably like on a Sunday if it doesn't get too hot in the afternoon because once again it's warming up where I live so I don't know if I'm going to be able to live stream but if you guys see this after the live stream congratulations I live streamed before this came out hopefully it wasn't too warm so I'm going to see you guys in the next video see you my fellow stars